Mom. Hi, honey. It's your son. Yes. When I was in third grade, I left Catholic school and transferred to public school. The teacher, and she said, uh, what in the world happened to him at that school? And in the first weeks I was there, I got my lunch food and I, I went and sat down at a table next to some guys. And on the other side of the table was this, this hamburger sort of by itself, unattended. And I noticed it when, when I sat down. So I, I ate my lunch and I sort of plowed through it and I was still hungry. Oh my gosh, you just think about it, Dominic. You grew up in a, a restaurant, you grew up in a bakery. But this hamburger was there all, all by itself. I reached across the table and I grabbed it and I ate it all. I felt sort of weird after and I had convinced myself somehow that by eating this hamburger, I had infected myself with AIDS. Was dad gone? Yeah. Think so. That's when we sold. That, that's when we sold the bakery. Um, and I took a new job, and we were all making adjustments. There wasn't a whole lot of knowledge about AIDS, but I knew what it was. I knew it was a communicable illness, and you know, you contracted it somehow, and you, you, you would not really know that you had it, and then you would die. So, I thought that by eating this uh, this unattended hamburger that I was... My mom noticed something was wrong with me and she she asked me, you know, what's wrong? Uh-huh. And I, I said, Mom, I have AIDS. One thing that, that I always thought that was important was to just normalize things as much as possible. through the story with her and she said, well, do you know how you get AIDS? Do you remember anything about, knowing anything about how people got AIDS? Do you have any, do you remember what you knew about that? I remember you worrying about communion at church. Um, uh, I do remember that I, that I stopped drinking from the cup. Nobody knew. It is important to avoid sharing personal items. Includes nail files, nail and clippers, clippers, hair and toothbrushes, earrings, earrings, soap, silverware, underclothes, makeup, makeup applicators, anything sharp or penetrating that might involve a exchange of bodily fluid, mosquitoes, uh, swimming pools, and heavy petting. So I ask you these questions like, did you have unprotected sex? He said, well, you have to have, you know, unprotected sex or uh, share intravenous drugs with somebody who's infected with AIDS or you have a blood transfusion and, you know, you haven't had any of these things, so you're, you're okay. Uh-huh. Until I was at my friend Ryan Lundholm's house after school and we were eating cereal and it was the um, cereal with the, with the bear and he we're eating and he reaches down into the cereal box and there's a toy in the bottom of the box i was worried about you playing with the toys because i didn't want you to be taken by the moonies do you do you remember when you became fearful of the moonies I remember they had these mass marriages and they controlled people. Teenagers left their families and they, they joined the Moonies. And the families, the families were like really good families. The parents had, they had they'd done everything with the kids and then, but still the kids left and took off with Moonies. And it's a, it's a sugar bear finger puppet. And he pulls it out and he sort of leaves the room and I'm just concentrating on the cereal. 
And then he comes back into the room and he's got his pants off completely naked from the waist down and that thing pointing out. And um, he reaches down and he pulls this, this puppet off and he sort of throws it at me. It's coming at my face very quickly. So I grab it and at that point, all of a sudden, you know, after a few months of being okay, all of a sudden I've somehow uh, contracted AIDS again. Only this time I can't say anything about it because... Yeah, because what would you say? I've had some kind of sex. Yeah. And also, like, some kind of gay sex, and I can't really explain that to my to my mom, so it's sort of... So how did you get past that? Doomed. Be the same.